Next, we're going to present an overview. This is the overview of what we're trying to do in lap three. Basically, motor, which we've done in laps one and two, shaft, soft-footed, leveled the shaft. This time we're going to add to it a shaft system, basically a load system that will out beyond what you can see from the camera, pillow block bearings, and what we call a flexible connector, inline, direct inline, however flexible to allow a little bit of universal work. In the case of shafts that are different size, uh, usually is the case, or a slight misalignment, this takes that into account. Uh, sometimes called Lovejoy, it is a universal direct coupling soft coupler, as opposed to hard coupler, everything must be exactly the same width on the, on the coupler, on the shafts, working together. Very common to use these, when, particularly when you have two different shaft di diameters. In this one, we'll go through, first of all, the mounting of the block system, the shaft, all the alignment necessary for that. Usually what it is, is we mount the sh this shaft, we mount the pillow block, mount the second pillow block, loosely coupled, run the shaft through, level the shaft, shimming it. Then after that, moving the shaft closer in, separate slightly, put in the coupling, in this case, a soft universal, put together, all, tighten all down, and we have a running system. In practice, this usually represents a much larger mechanical system that's in place. And we normally have this installed, and what we do is we swap out the motor, and the motor is the last assembly to be pushed in. That's why even though this looks pretty light and should be added afterwards, to represent what we do in practice, this will be done first, and the last step will be basically add the motor to the system and fit the motor to this shaft rather than this shaft to the motor mount. We'll go ahead and proceed with, first of all, the mounting of the shaft. 